What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And today, talking about some Victoria's Secretness. Before we get into the video, um, the reason that I haven't uploaded is because I've been having issues with audio. Now, it may sound a little better, may sound a little worse. I don't know. I'm still tweaking with it, but I'm basically using a whole new audio uh, virtual box thing and then tweaking with it. And it's just like, uh, it's aggravating because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's get into the trials of being a good boyfriend. All right, so this story takes place on the weekend um, on Saturday and I go to school with my girlfriend uh, she's going to esthetician school and I go with her in the morning so that I can go to the mall and go to Victoria's Secret to pay for her bill um, because might as well just get it done that's when it's due and it, it all seems perfectly normal right now normally when you go and pay the bill you bring your Victoria's Secret card, like your credit card, you swipe it, it brings up the account information, you pay like 30 bucks, and that's it, right? Well, this particular morning, we've been really tired, so we just left, and we didn't bring the card with us, and we realized, and we're like, oh, it should be fine, I just give them your name, you know, her name, and all that, and it should be perfect. So, I drop her off, and then I go to the mall. Now, as soon as I get in the mall, I remember great I don't get any signal or data inside the stores um, signal is extremely spar parse sparse 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 spas Spock uh, anyways yeah so the the um the yeah it, it, it's a it's a it's hard okay so I go into the store and there's about five people in the line so I get in the back of the line and First trial, nothing really much. There's kids running around, kind of weird at first. Like, why are there kids running around in a Victoria's Secret? Oh, whatever. So I get there, and I pull out my credit card before I even talk to the lady. I'm like, I need to make a payment. And she's like, okay, we'll swipe your Victoria's Secret card. I was like, okay, I don't have my girlfriend's card. Can I just give you her name? She's like, no, uh, you can either get the account number or the social security number. And, or She didn't say social security number. She said social security. And I was like, oh, okay. So I leave go outside text my girlfriend like hey I need your social or your account number uh, so that I can make the payment so now normally in any other scenario in the world the only time you would need to give someone your full social is like when you're applying for a job or something like government official or something like that or when you're giving it to like you're setting up for a credit card like that's when you need the full, full, full the full social is when you're setting something up now when you need to verify that you are you you only need the last four of your social Okay, this is just a thing I learned as being a credit consultant. Well, I get the four numbers and I go back into the line. That was my second time in line. And again, I don't ha I can't do anything on my phone. It's just bleh, you know? Bleh. <laughs> it's useless without connection. I get in line and I'm standing there and now there's more kids running around and there's a screaming baby uh, and I'm just like god fucking damn it now I noticed something and this is kind of weird the lady or the lady in front of me is part of a family and this family is just split up into multiple lines like at first they're all in the same line and then the mom told everyone to go to different lines to see if they can get to a line quicker alright seems normal I guess because there's like three or four cash registers, and for each cash register, there's two lines. And I went to the same line I was, uh, I went to the first time, so, you know, I get the same person. And the lady's holding her child, who is actually the screaming bebe. And the screaming bebe is being held like this. So she's got him like pretty much like this, and the bebe's here, right? Here. The reason the bebe is screaming is because he's falling out of her arms slowly and what looks like very painfully too and the entire time she's just like shut up be quiet we're in a store this kid's like one or two years old he's not gonna understand what the fuck you're saying the only thing he understands is that gravity's pushing him to his death well not his death but that was that's what he thinks eventually when he's literally hurt like literally like this he gets down to where his armpits are slipping below her she finally goes oh and picks him up and holds him like a normal human being. Do you see the shock in my face? So I'm already like, what did I just witness? And 
I have lost all faith in humanity for the tenth time this year, and it's only January. 2016, we don't speak of that. Anyways, um, so now I guess it's my turn, and I go up to her, and I'm like, again, pull out my credit card. Hey, I'm you know, here to make the payment. She's like, oh, okay, so put in the, the social. I put in the four-digit code. And she's like, no, no, we need the full social. And I just had, I was thinking in my head, like, why the fuck didn't you tell me that the first time? Jesus. Okay. So I get out of line. I go back and get the full social. Now I'm just kind of pissed. And I get back, and the lines are even longer now. Like, they've progressively gotten longer the more and more time I've been fucking around at the store. So I get back in line, and now here's the interesting thing. Um, I get in a different line for whatever reason. And there's another family. There's a lady in front of me, and then there's another family, like, in front of her. And they split up and do the whole, like, multiple line thing, so I'll see whoever gets first. And it was two sons, a father, and the mother. Now, this is what's important. The youngest son, who the entire time he was in line was like this. So, obviously, either socially awkward or just an idiot. And I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm about to tell you is going to prove that he's just an idiot. I know, I'm a dick, and you love it. Alright, so... Uh, he goes to the far, far, like, line, way over there. And I'm kind of keeping my eye on this kid because he's, like, staring at everyone. Everyone. Okay? And this kid's not being very subtle about it either. He's just like... Huh? Huh? And I'm just like... I'm kind of looking at the mom like, how the fuck did you raise that? Jesus, have some courtesy, man. Anyways, he gets to the line. And now, in the line next to him, there's this lady who... It's been shopping around a little bit now. She got just got in line. And she's in, like, full, like, post-workout clothes. Like, yoga pants and, like, the tight shirt. And, like, the tight workout shirt. And then, like, but cloth. Weird. Like, something like that. But stretchy of a cloth. And a sports bra and, like, a hat. And her hair is tied up in a tight bun. And it looks like her eyes are about to pop out. Yeah, apparently that's fashion. Um, Anyways, she's in line next to him. Remember how I was before I said that for every cash register there's like two lines? Okay, so they were going for the same cash register and they're, at, you know, about the same position. And she has this obvious snooty look of like she thinks everyone here shouldn't be here. She's like all better and stuff. She, I mean, she's standing all like like this. Um, the boys, you know, stealing glances at her. And that's probably what pissed her off. Um, so they get to the front, and now it's his turn because they go, they stagger, right? One, 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 you know. So she says, next person, please. And the boy starts walking forward, right? Well, this lady straight up power walks past him and puts her stuff on the counter in front of the cash register. I'm not talking like, oh, I'm sorry, I was next. No, she just straight up cut him. He was in mid-stride when she got there, and he's just like, like halfway there and he just like looks so dumbfounded like what do I do what do I do and then he looks at his mom puts his head down and just walks back to her what is wrong with everything that just happened a a lady just cut off this poor kid b he's an idiot he should have said something and see he should have at least kept his place he was next you know his mom and the rest of them were still a few people behind in the other lanes so what and his mom was not happy about this. She didn't say anything, but she gave her those, like, mom eyes that you get where you're like, okay, the only reason I'm not dead right now is because she doesn't want to have to deal with jail. But I'm going to get an ass whooping. Like, those eyes. Um, <laughs> scary. Very scary. Even I was kind of intimidated. But as I'm watching this... I start laughing. I can't help it. I just can't help the fact that this kid is just utterly defeated in such an awkward situation and has no idea how to deal with it. So I just have to pull up my phone and start laughing at my like my screensaver. But I'm just laughing at it because I have to not be a dick and laugh at the kid. I'm just like, I'm just laughing. And I think the guy behind me or something knew was why I was laughing because he started laughing too. <laughs> so, mm, perfect. It was, it was beautiful. All right. 
So remember, this is my like third time in line, so I'm already kind of like aggravated and tired. But this this made my day. Now let's get to the lady in front of me. Okay, now this is what really pissed me off. The lady in front of me had a shirt that said, single as fuck, ready to party. Now, let me give you a representation of her age and size. Her age was probably between 40s and 50s, okay? Or just looks really old. Her shirt was stretched out so much that the letters had stretch marks. That's just bad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm all about body positivity to an extent. Because after a while, it's just not healthy, man. And there's no reason you should be wearing that shirt and no reason you should be buying those clothes. Okay, no. That's not the worst part. So she gets to the cash register and ta starts talking to the lady. I mean, she bought a bunch of crap. Like, a bunch. Like, underwear, panties, thongs, bras, sports bra sports bras. She bought a fucking sports bra. Um, I really hope she's using it for the intended purpose. <laughs> I know. I'm a dick. And you love it. Um, and she goes on about, like, different discounts. She has, like, this coupon thing. And that takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'm just standing here like, why is this taking so long? Okay, why? And it gets it gets better. It gets better. It's time for her to pay, finally. Guess what she does? She pulls out her credit card and holds it from the magnetic side. And then swipes it. And you can just hear the numbers getting scraped off. Because she's swiping it on the wrong fucking end or side. You just hear the numbers go. It's like, hmm, that's weird. And the lady's like, it didn't work. Let me try it again. Hmm, still not working. And I'm over here like, I wonder why. And then she realizes, oh, right, I was supposed to flip it over. Okay, let me try again. Perfect works awesome now it's time for her to put in her pin this is where i nearly lost it she goes T -t -t -t. wrong pin oh let me try again T -t 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 -t. oh let me try again T -t 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 -t. oh my gosh i must have the wrong pin no shit and then she digs through her purse and pulls out a little black book and starts flipping through the pages. She flipped through every page of this fucking book to eventually get to the back of the book where she wrote down her pin. How are people this stupid? I'm sorry. I know I'm being mean, but this was ridiculous. Like... Yes, you may have forgotten that you wrote it in the notebook or something, but you would have remembered that you wrote it in the back of the notebook. I mean, there's a reason. Maybe check the front, check the back. Okay, it must be somewhere in the middle. Then you go. What the fuck? So finally, she leaves. Thank God. Now, this is a new lady at the cash register. So I go up to her and I'm like, okay, I pull again, pull out my credit card. And say, I'd like to make a payment. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, we only take cash. And I kind of shoot a glance at the other lady, like, why the fuck didn't you tell me this? And it is actually my fault because my wonderful girlfriend actually told me beforehand to get cash. She actually sent it to me in a text, but I forgot. So I was a complete dipshit, like utter dipshit. I should have done this in the beginning. So I get out of line. I go back. And I get cash. I come back. Now, this is the fourth time in them in line. And now there's more screaming children running around. And I'm literally just dying on the inside. I'm like, I hate screaming children. Why can't you keep your children in check? Why the fuck did you bring your three-year-old, five-year-old, and seven-year-old to Victoria's Secret? <gasps> Jesus. Help me. Strike them down. Or whatever you do. Do stuff. <laughs> Make my life easier, please. So I get back and I'm like, okay, I got the cash. And I put in my girlfriend's social. It doesn't work. We tried it three times. And she's like, I'm sorry, it's just, it's not popping up on the system. <coughs> and 
and she's not being mean or anything. She's being really nice and polite. Like she she can obviously see that I'm suffering from, you know, PTSD of all the screaming children that I endured throughout my stay here at Victoria's Secret. And she's asked, How long have you been in line? And I'm like, This is my fourth time coming through the line. And she's like, Wait, what? And then I explained to her. The first time I came through, I didn't have the number. So I came back. The second time I, I came through, no one told me that I have the full social. So the third time I came back, and then that was with you. I had to go get cash. Now I'm at the fourth time, and it doesn't work. And I wasn't being mean. I was just like, I can't believe it either. And she's like, well, if you can get the right social or the account number or anything, you can come back, skip the line, just come straight to me, and I'll take care of it for you. And I was like, thank you. It doesn't end here. No, 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 no. The screaming children are not gone yet. I leave Victoria's Secret, text my girlfriend. She's like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm sorry. This is the whole reason we can't pay online because Victoria's Secret fucked up something to do with the social security number. That's why it's never been connected to the account. Um, so, you know what? It's my fault. I forgot the card. And I was like, hey, it's okay. It's okay. I have an experience. And somewhere throughout the third and second and third uh, line, I actually started writing down notes so I can make this video. So I pick her up, we go home, we eat some tamales, we have lunch, it's a really good time. I'm telling my girlfriend what happened, and she's like, oh my god, I can't believe it, you know, hey, just let me take care of it, you know, you don't have to deal with this anymore. And I'm like, no, I am determined to pay this fucking bill, because I have gone through too much shit not to do it. So I get the card, and I go to a different Victoria's Secret, because I'm just kind of like done with that one. Um, also, this one's a bit closer. So I get there, I walk in. And this mall is kind of dying, like half the stores are closed, all the lights are really dim, so I'm kind of like, well, this should be interesting. I walk into the Victoria's Secret, and it, oh god, it smelled like bile, like bile, like throw up, and old woman juice, and if you don't know what that is, basically, if you know, if you go to, like, your grandparents' home or something, it just kind of has that distinct smell. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. Um, and I could have sworn, like, someone had to take a piss in there at some point. Because um, I could smell that, too. And the carpets were all torn up and dirty and stained. And it was, it was a mess. It was horrible. Like, I was like, how the fuck is this store in this condition? And I get into the line to wait. And I have the car and I have the cash and I'm ready. And guess what's right behind me? A screaming toddler saying, I don't want to be here. And his mom's not giving me shit. And I completely ignore him. More screaming children. Now, I don't have a problem with children. I have a problem with misbehaved children. And I have a problem with parents who bring their children into public stores. Like the stores or public areas. And just ignore them or don't do something about the fact that they're the decibel volume of these children can destroy eardrums. Like my, they will make ears bleed. I don't know. I did. I'm not right. I, this is not scripted. This is all coming from memory. Okay, so don't judge me. Okay, if you're a parent and you have a child who just screams and never shuts up and is always complaining about shit. Okay, obviously you're parenting wrong, I, I, I'm i assuming, okay? Secondly, don't bring them to a store they're not gonna like because it's just gonna make your life and everyone else's life hell, okay? There was a funny po uh, picture my girlfriend showed me. It was Bender holding a bat, and the quote said, if the parents aren't gonna beat their kids, I guess I have to do it. And I was just like, that is so fucking unrelatable right now because Jesus sometimes... Kids just need like a I got the Victoria's Secret payment paid. Ending final thoughts. Any thoughts? Okay. I don't actually want to murder any children. I'm sorry. But the I just have a problem with parents who can't control their children, especially in public places. And the thing is, is like a lot of the times the kids just don't want to be there. And there's no reason for them to be there. So, and I understand, like, sometimes parents don't have a choice. They have to bring their kids with them because they can't take care of them because they have to go out. They have to know when to take care of them at home. But then again, 
then at least they should put some more effort into like making sure the kids are well behaved in public areas. Like when I went into public areas, I hated it. I hated it, but my mom had to bring me. But she taught me to shut the fuck up, you know. <laughs> like although I was gonna get it, um, not get it like that. But her threat was always homework, and holy shit, it worked. <laughs> to this day, if anyone ever threatens me with homework, it will probably shut me the fuck up because I PTSD. I hated homework. Probably why I'm a high school, or probably why I'm a college dropout. I just fucking hate homework. <laughs> I love learning, but I hate homework. Um, and then, more importantly, I hate the parents. Because the parents are obviously not giving a shit about their child. Help me, I'm falling! Shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, like what the fuck? So, I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't take care of children. I have babysitted before, but, like, I know it's nothing like taking care of children. So... I don't know. I don't know what what it's like, but I'm sure that something else can be done because I see children who are perfectly well behaved in public areas, and then I see other children who are throwing a fit, and I'm just kind of like, why? Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I know it's been a, it's a bit of a long one and a bit of a rant. Uh, it might be a little all over the place, but this is my fourth time fucking recording this goddamn thing, so bear with me. Uh, anyways, besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, make sure to love yourself, love life, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces! Also, don't forget to comment any video ideas or anything you guys want me to talk about in the comments below, because I will totally do them and feature you in the next one. I fucking hate.